I received an email from one of our lab users that basically says, hey, I don't get the results from ShadeWave that she feels that the shade tab itself is darker than the tooth and she's confused because the mapping shows that the tooth is a darker than the shade tab. Uh, first I want to point out that this was made with ShadeWave Mobile from an iPhone and for all you viewers we strongly recommend you hold the iPhone horizontally not vertically like this because of magnification you'll get if you did the same photo uh, and did it horizontally, you'd have a, a much more magnification and you can see better. So uh, this is actually an illusion uh, because the tooth is very translucent. But let's go through the process and I'll show you. So the first thing to do is let's edit this and let's go to crop, go to edit, crop, and then we're going to adjust the cropping tool to have all the teeth. And let's make sure we include the A2 shade tab like we have here. And then to apply the, the crop, we can double click and we get the crop. So we see the A2 shade tab and the tooth and you can see the translucency in the upper part. So let's go to process. So we're going to click on process photo. We're going to click on the A2 right in the middle of the shade tab. Click. We're going to tell the program it's an A2, and then when we right-click and color correct, we're turning the A2 into a mathematically correct A2, our standard A2, which we've just done. So we've color corrected it, and here's the original. Here's the corrected one. Let's put the region back on. Now, let's do this. Normally, you just would... Make sure the region is slightly larger than the tooth that you want to get the shade on. But for illustration purposes, we're going to actually make this so that it includes the tooth itself along with the shade tab. This green box, many of you may not know what this is. The green box gives you value. It gives you value in the 3D master value groups which is 0 through 5. And if you don't know what that is, you can look it up on YouTube, 3D Master Value Groups. 0 through 5, where 0 is the brightest and 5 is the darkest. And when you click on this, it'll tell you 0 through 5. It'll put the answer right here where there's nothing in there right now. It says 3D Master, and I'm going to click on it. Let's see what it tells us. Okay, it tells us that it is a 3. Ignore this 52, just look at the 3. So it's the 3D Master Value Group 3. And again, the smaller the number, the brighter it is. So let's look at the Shade tab and click on it. Let's see what that tells us. It's a 2, so it's an A2. So it's saying that in brightness, the Shade tab is actually um, brighter than the tooth. Now let's do this. Let's go ahead and get our analysis. So we're going to, again, move the region where it encapsulates the tooth, but not a whole lot more. Right click, crop, and let's see what shades there. Okay, I'm not surprised. The D3, C3, C4, um, which is darker or lower value than the A2. But let's look over here on the right. What the right map is, this is translucency. Extra light, light, medium, and dark. It's picking up all of this gray in the tooth. So it's showing a lot of translucency here in the D3. So when you're making this, okay, you want to be sure that you get the shade, which is the D3, okay which is the base shade but you must build in this translucency or it won't match now to show you i'm going to go to photoshop okay so here's the tooth in photoshop and we're going to turn it grayscale okay so now it's grayscale and what i want you to look at here i don't know if you can see it or not but there's a number one and number two and in grayscale it's kind of the opposite that uh, zero, is, zero, zero, 000 is black and 255 is pure white. 
So the higher the number, the brighter the object. So the number one, Photoshop says is a 208, and the tooth is a 192. So Photoshop is also saying, hey, once you turn it grayscale, the, uh, the shade tab is actually brighter than the tooth. So in conclusion, we showed you that it's kind of an illusion sometimes what you think is brighter or darker, uh, but when we process things and we put the region on, that by moving this uh, green value box, you actually get the degree of brightness or the value.